Okay, let's look at sinking funds, which is just a fund set up to receive periodic payments. And it states if the payments are equal and are made at the end of regular periods, they actually form these ordinary annuities. Now, once again, Excel is your friend. You can do this by hand, but I'm actually going to only show this in Excel this time. So it says, find the amount of a payment to be made into a sinking fund so that enough will be present to accumulate this following amount. And payments are made at the end of each period, which tells you um, that this is my ordinary annuity. All right, so I know I'm gonna need this stuff over here, so let's throw it over here. I'm going to need a future value, an interest, and then total time. And I want to find out how much the payment should be. So it says the rate, looking down here at the bottom, is 4%, compounded semi-annually, which would be twice a year, and then for 4.5 years. All right, so my future value, 65,000. My interest is my rate divided by the number of times compounded, I've done this many times. And then my total, my M times my T for total time. And I can see that I get, for my total time, I get nine years. All right, so nicely, Excel has this formula, equals PMT. Calculates the payment for a loan based on constant payment and a constant interest rate. My rate, comma, my number of periods, comma, there is no present value. So just leave that blank and put another comma. The future value is the 65,000 that we want in the future. And then this is, the payments are made, as you can see at the bottom, it says at the end of each period and why I put zero. And so I press enter and this gives me my payments that I should be making semi-annually.